Hello everyone, Professor Lowe here. Today we to see the lecture number 1, Rigid Pavement Designs. We start with the stress due to the wheel loads. So, when the West Cards thread analysis of stresses in rigid pavements, the cement concrete slab is assumed to be the homogeneous, a thin elastic plate with subgrade reaction being vertical and proportional to the deflections. So, the West Card equations for the stresses due to the wheel load applied at the three critical locations like interior edge and the corners are given by these formulas. So, when we talk about the stresses, there will be two types one is the one is the wheel load stresses, and another is the temperature stresses, which we are going to see in the further. So, in temperature stresses, again you have the wrap stresses and frictional stresses. Now, only we are dealing with the wheel load stresses. So, in wheel load stresses, they are given by the three formulas one is for interior edge and the corner when you talk about the interior it is given by the formula so these are the symbolically we represent yes small suffix i yes suffix e yes suffix c stress as interior stress at edge stress at corner so these are given by the formula 0.316 p 4 log of p l by p plus 1.069 yes is nothing but 0.792 p 4 log l by p plus 0.359. So, at corner it is going to be 3p h square divided by 1 minus in the bracket a root 2 divided by l into 0.6, where l is nothing but uh, relative stiffness, h is nothing but the slab thickness, p is nothing but v load, a is in radius of v load distribution and b is nothing but radius of resisting section okay that, that those are the formulas what we have seen so before getting into the l and b we have to know the what is l you have to you know the formula uh, radius of relative stiffness and nothing but b is nothing but radius of resisting section that you have to calculate and here one more comes due to the cornering uh, load the tensile stress is developed on the top of the pavement surface across the corner by sectoring or the by diagonal if the corner load stress exceeds the flexible strength of the cc payment the crack is likely to develop across the diagonal on the top surfaces of the payment so the maximum stresses produced by the wheel load at the corner does not exit around the load but it occurs like some distance we consider it as x along the diagonal and that is given by the formula x is equal to 2.5 root of a into l the x from the corner is given by this relation the x, x is nothing but the distance from the apex of the slab corner the section of maximum stresses along the corner by a sector or the diagonal and a is nothing but radius of again v load distribution l is nothing but radius of relative stiffness in centimeters so, let us see one problem on this. So, problem is nothing but calculate the stresses at interior edge and corner regions of CC payment using Westcott stress equations where we load given as 15 km that is nothing but the P modulus of elasticity of cement concrete which is nothing but 0.35 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square that is E pavement thickness they given in h mu is nothing but position stretch of the concrete k is nothing but modulus of subgrade reactions and the given is the tire pressures so here is unknown is a so no so we can write it here what are they given now p is given that is 51 kilo newton okay and modulus of cement concrete is given as 0.3 into 10 raised to 5 okay I return the question the 0.35 it is 0.3 okay Newton per mm square next they give one with the mu it is 0.5 they give one with the k that is 0.06 Newton per mm cube. So try to keep the same value uh, what units throughout the problem. 
so what happen if you change the one kg and one in that will be again confusing if you're good at the conversion that's fine if you're not good at keep try to keep the one same unit throughout the problem and they given the tire pressure that is 0.7 newton per mm square so we calculate the a now okay we know a how to calculate so here a is nothing but p is nothing but sorry 51 kilonewton that is q and tire pressure is 0.7 that gives us a as 152 mm okay the next is to find the l l is given by e h cube divided by 12 k 1 minus mu square this is the whole raised to the 4 yes and that is e is nothing but 0.35 into 10 sorry 0.3 into 10 raised to 5 h is nothing but 220 okay that is uh, in mm which is h cube now raised to 3 divided by 12 k is nothing but 0 0.06 into 1 minus mu is 0.15 square the whole raised to 1 by 4 if you simplify this you are going to get as a twenty mm, and to calculate the B, first you have to check the ratio. That is, A is nothing but greater than whatever. So A by one point seven two, na that is. So A by H is nothing but one point seven two four. Greater hai kya? Ye dekhna padega. Now you have to check this first. So if I check it, A is nothing but 152 na? as per the calculation what you got 122 mm, thickness is 220, if you go, it will be around 0.69, so which is obviously less than 1 point, so if it is equal to the this, you have to take the B value as the same, that is nothing but this formula is expressed in this way here, okay, I simplify it and took H in this side. So it is less than 1.274 h times so we obviously have to go to calculate the b now so b is nothing but 1.68 square plus s square okay root of that 0.615 h so if you can calculate this 1.6 a a how much you got 152 square plus h is nothing but 220 square this whole root here then 0 0.675 h is 220 if i simplify this we are going to get 143.67 which is approximately equal to the 144 okay in some simple problems they can ask you this differently to calculate the l and b okay two marks questions what calculate the relative stiffness they give you some h e k or mu you can find the relative stiffness for this it is of relative stiffness in some question they may ask you to only calculate what equivalent radius of resisting sections okay these are simple questions now you would when you want to go for the whole problem then you would require the l and p so i'm calculating here l and p because in whole equations you can see na l and p l and p it required p obviously have this known as a to calculate only to input clear now first i going to calculate the stresses at interior i use the same formula i don't write in one more time okay use the 0 0.31 things p divided by s square okay whole same formula now i will input in this 0 0.316 into 51 into 10 raised to 3 that is load 220 square in the bracket 4 log of base to the 10 820 divided by 820 is nothing but L and my B is 144 mm yes plus 
So whatever we want to get, I want to get the internal stresses for this. For this, SI is going to be 1.36 new to Newton per mm square. Same way, I'm going to calculate for the edge. For edge, the formula is 0.572 p divided by h square, 4 log L by 2 plus 0.35. Same way, input the values now. 0.752 p is how much? 51 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 220 square, 4 log 820 divided by 144 plus 0.35. So here I'm going to get yes at the edges 2.37037 newton per m square. Same I calculate for the corner for 3. The formula is 3p h square in the bracket 1 minus a root to 2 divided by raised to 0.6. So, 3 into 51 raised to 10 raised to 3 divided by 220 square. 1 minus A is how much? 152 root of 2. Okay. Divided by 820 whole raised to 0.6. That gives me something. 1.7445 Newton per m n square. In, in seeing to the all, so which stress is maximum? This is internal stress. This is edge stress and this is the corner. So here you can find edge has the most stresses. Okay. We'll end up here. Thank you for your patience.